hi guys welcome to another video my name is Adriana from the beautiful mountain kingdom of Lesotho today I'm heading to my farm I can finally harvest the first fruit of my butternut and I'm very excited so let's head over to the farm and harvest some butternut squash So not all the butternut is ready to harvest, uh, there's some that is still quite green. So what I'm gonna do is start at the end of this strip, uh, this trial that I had in the cropped maize, beans and butternut. I'm gonna start at the end of the strip and harvest all the butternut that is ready all the way down to the beginning. So let's get into it. So what I'm looking for in assessing the readiness of the squash is this beautiful bright orange color that you see on the squash and those green veins uh, that's nothing to worry about and I also check the rigidity of the skin on the squash and if it's quite tough that means that it is ready to harvest and another thing that I look for is the stem here you can see it's starting to turn brownish showing that it's sort of drying up and at the bottom here you can see the flower on the blossom end has completely dropped off so that is another sign that this squash is ready to pick so over here is one of the butternuts that isn't quite ready as you can see the flower hasn't completely dropped off the blossom end and when you look at the stem you can see that it's still a little bit green and when you check the color of the butternut as well it's still turning but it's not quite there yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick all the squash that is ready and when I'm done I'm gonna tell you what I do to ensure that my butternut is as sweet as it can be so I'm just using some pruning shears to cut off the butternut from the plant and the stems can be quite tough so I'm using the shears because I want the stems attached to the butternut and this is to help with ensuring that the butternut will last longer in storage. So now that my wheelbarrow is full, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all the squash and just wipe away all that dirt that's on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here on the farm because I want the squash to be very clean by the time I take it home. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So this is what the squash looks like once it's clean. Wow, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments section. Thank you. 
So, guys, since it was very late in the afternoon when I was harvesting the squash, I just waited until the next morning and I came and laid it all out, bottoms down, <laughs> in an area that gets a lot of sunlight throughout the entire day. And this is to start the curing and the hardening off process and this helps to sweeten the butternut and also to ensure that it will last for a very long time in storage so what I normally do is I like to put my butternut outside in direct sunlight and I normally leave it out for like two weeks or even longer depending on the weather and I've actually discovered that the longer I leave it outside in direct sunlight is the longer it will last in storage for up to even more than six months. And it also becomes sweeter and sweeter. Like the longer you leave it out, the sweeter it becomes. So every few days I'll just come out here and I'll keep on turning it and maybe bring the one that is at the back towards the front just to ensure that all of the button at all of the sides gets hit by that sunlight so that it hardens off properly. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment as well and let me know what you think and share the video with your friends and family and if you are new to the channel please show me some love and become a part of my youtube tribe by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to smash the notification bell as well so that you will be the first to know every time i upload and from the mountain kingdom of lesotho to you guys it's goodbye for now. I will see you in the next one. And until then, you take care. Bye-bye.